Welcome to St. Peter's. Willkommen. Und fröhliche Weihnachten. Merry Christmas. I asked our pastor Kurt Jensen to uh, say a few words of welcome. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's so great to have all of you here. Um, um, my family and I are new to the area. We moved here just two months ago from Iowa, where I had served a church there for 11 years. Uh, and then before that, I had served two churches out in Michigan. And that's where my wife Sarah and I met and married, and our kids came along, and my daughter Cassidy is with us tonight. So uh, yeah, it's really fun to be able to be a part of this long-standing tradition of singing uh, German and English Christmas carols together. Uh, so let's begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night and for all those who are gathered here. Thank you for this beautiful church and for the deep connections that we have with other churches in the area and with churches back in the motherland, back in Germany. Uh, thank you for the gift of music and for the season of Advent and Christmas and for these carols that we get to sing tonight that point us toward Christ. May the words and the music sing home the message of the gospel into our hearts so we can share it with those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Okay, our congregation congregation has been here for 179 years and our ancestors came to America in 1843 from Valmo, a tiny village in Uckermark, the northeastern corner of Germany. And I was real pleased to meet somebody just a few minutes ago that comes from Uckermark originally. So we could speak a little German together. Plattdeutsch, right? <laughs> and Hochdeutsch. Okay, uh, we welcome you from Germany. So um, the people were very firm in their conviction in the Lutheran faith. So when the Prussian king, Friedrich Wilhelm II, decided to merge the Reformed churches and the Lutheran church, the people of Lomo found that they could no longer hold their own services, and their children had to attend school in the Union church. So they decided to leave home and country and emigrate to America. They left together with the people from Burkholz and Nipperwiese. They arrived in America toward the end of September, uh, founded St. Peter's Lutheran Church, Holy Ghost in Burkholz, and St. Martin's in Martinsville. The first services were held in a barn and later in a log house. One of the early buildings that remains today is Das Haus in Burkholz, which is now a museum and is one of the uh, museums of the Historical Society of North German Settlements in Western New York. Okay, that's us. We're sponsoring this tonight. Um, by November of 1846, three years later, a church had, was built and dedicated. One wonders how much snow was on the ground. I, I hope it wasn't like snow November. A couple of years ago, we had a lot of snow at that time. Uh, 69 years later, at this time of the year, November 28th, 1915, this building was dedicated. So I think these people did very well when you figure that 60, 70 years before, they had nothing. So anyway, uh, a Christian day school had been formed soon after our ancestors came in 1843, and it continues to this day with eight grades. Um, and it's right across the street. Uh, each year on Christmas Eve, the school children always presented a program in church. Probably at first it was all in German, and as the years went by, mostly in English. Whereas now, well, things have changed a little bit anyway, with different kinds of programs and all. Nearly 100 years after their first arrival in 1843, I was a first reader in 1946. And I remember learning Alle Jahre Wieder and other German Christmas carols for the program. We're going to be singing those. Which brings us to this evening, 
We will be singing the songs that were sung all through the years. Um, we also had to memorize a piece um, in high German, which we didn't understand. I still wonder how we learned all that stuff. Anyway, because we spoke low German, we kids could all speak low German to each other, because at home we all spoke low German. The teacher didn't know what we were saying, but um, she knew high German, and so she taught us the songs in high German, and the pastor also could st at that time still preach in high German. Um, I remember the piece I learned in first grade, believe it, that's a long time ago. It's, Ich bin ein kleines Mädchen und lieb dem Heiland sehr. Er gab für mich sein Leben, sein Ein und alles her which is, I'm a little girl, and I love the Lord Jesus very much. He gave this all for me. I learned that 80 years ago. <laughs> okay. Way before my time, uh, there was always a Christmas tree with candles. If you can imagine what that might have looked like with live candles. My mother remembered that, there were, that they were lit, and the elders stood by. I don't know if they had pails of water and uh, to put out any of the fire. So, it must have been very beautiful. Now we're going to be singing these carols that we learned, and um, almost all of them come from this Wonder Leader Buch. And many of the, the hymns that are the carols will sing actually were written maybe 20 years before our ancestors came. They're, so they were contemporary at the time. But this Wonder Leader Buch that contains maybe about 50 of the Christmas carols was printed in, let's see, 18, no wait, 1893 in Reading, Pennsylvania, believe it or not. So there were many Germans in that area also, so um, and it's very interesting, but these, many of the hymns come from this book, which is a treasure to me. <clears throat> Our uh, organist is Diane Stolting, and uh, we're very happy to have her with us again tonight. Um, we got the organ started. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know if anybody has any questions about the ancestors. Otherwise, we'll please turn to your songs. The first sheet. The first one is O du Frilige, O du Selige. Um, it's translate, uh, I'll translate back and forth. O du Frühlige, O du Selige, Gnaden bringen die Weihnachtszeit. O you happy, holy, grace bringing Christmas time. Welt ging verloren, the world was going lost. Christ was born. Christ ward geboren. Freue dich, freue dich, o Christenheit. Be happy, be happy, Christendom. The next, uh, the second verse also has a, a similar uh, words. It says, Christ appeared to redeem us. Be glad. So uh, if Diane will play the music so we can hear it once and then we'll try to sing it in German. Okay. <laughs> This one is a 
well known hymn around the world, um, this O Come All Ye Faithful. Um, I mean, we should have said the song that we just sang uh, was uh, composed in 1815. So that too was contemporary with our ancestors, only of maybe 20, 30, 20 years beforehand. So this one, uh, will Come All Ye Faithful, I think, well, it was published in Germany in 1823, but I think it was composed uh, quite a bit before. So this one, uh, the, I don't need to translate it really because the words are fairly similar in English and German. So I'll just, um, it says, Herbei, O ihr Gläubigen, fröhlich triumphieren, O kommet, O kommet nach Bethlehem. Seht das Kindlein und zum Heil geboren, which means see the little child who was born for our healing or for our salvation. O lasset uns anbeten, it says let's pray to him. In the English version is let us adore him. And then again, oh let us um, pray to him, let us pray to the king. Okay, uh, let's sing once in German and once in English. because every Christmas Eve he would celebrate at his home with the children. There were, this was in 1534, so imagine that we're seeing this 500 years later. It's still a most wonderful hymn. Um, there were 15 verses. Now we're not gonna do all those. <laughs> but each verse, uh, Martin Luther had such a wonderful way with words. They're very direct and very down to earth. It's like he's here talking to you. So um, this one is called From Heaven Above to Earth I Come. From Himmel hoch, da komme ich her. Ich bring euch gut, eu, gute neue Meer. Der guten Meer bring ich so viel, davon ich singen und sagen will. Um, so I don't think I need to listen to that. Let's just sing it first in English and then in German.
is number six at the top there, die schönste Zeit, die liebste Zeit. Here again, the language is just uh, really very direct and real. Um, we'll, it's, it starts out, the, uh, it's the best time, the most loved time. Tell everybody all around uh, that uh, everybody can be happy because it's the wonderful, loved Christmas time right now. Then it goes on and says, the dare sie freundlich zu uns neigt, mit seinen Händen nach uns reicht. He comes close to us with his hands reaching out to us. So there you can see how direct he is, so real. Uh, then he says, und der sein Auge nur gesehen will nimmer wieder von ihm gehen. And whoever has seen Jesus' eyes will never leave him again. This is something I've never heard expressed in, in an English carol. Think of having seen Jesus' eyes and, well, you can hardly imagine it. So then um, the next one, I guess I'll just like, translate those two. Uh, I don't have this in um, English, so we'll sing it in German. So if you would play it for us once so we can hear how it goes and we'll try to do the first verse.
building and living with first family, and I didn't either. And so I think most of us who are my age who went to the old one room school house, we, we have pleasant memories of this wonderful Christmas time. Yes. Microphone. 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I say uh, many of you might have good memories or those of people who who were first and second graders to doing the Christmas program here. We did sing that song, we didn't really know what it meant, but we, we learned it. Okay. Okay, please turn to the next page. So this is still enough, highly enough. This one is probably best known around the world. Um, written by Joseph Moore, 1792, um, and the melody by Gruber, 1818. So this is again, 1818 isn't so long before our people came to, from Germany. Um, the words are fairly similar, similar in German. It says, quiet night, holy night, all is sleeping and watching in loneliness. Only the holy parents were in the barn by the heavenly child. So um, let's sing the, uh, wait, I guess I didn't read the German, so Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, alles schläft, einsam wacht. Nur das heilige Elternpaar, das im Stahl zu Bethlehem war, bei dem himmlischen Kind, bei dem himmlischen Kind. So let's sing one in German as it was way back there in Germany all those years ago, and one in English. Here we go. And it means holy night at midnight. The town is sleeping without sound. In the stable, a child sleeps, whom the mother con contemplates praying. She has seen the Savior in the infant of her heart. So the words are quite different from English, but it's beautiful. And the Spanish is Noche de Paz, Noche de Amor, O the Duerme and Berre Night of peace, night of love, everything is sleeping all around. Solo suena en la oscuridad, armonías de la vida. Only in the darkness we hear the sounds of happiness, the harmonies of peace, the harmonies of peace. And one more, which is Japanese. 
I'm not used to doing this. Sorry about that. Okay, then um, the Japanese one goes um, Kiyoshi kono yoru no hoshi wa hikari sukui no mi no ko wa, and so forth. Anyway, it's clear tonight the stars shine. The child of salvation is in the manger. Sleep in exceeding peace. So again, different words, but always beautiful and a little different in each country. Okay, the next one I don't have an English for. Um, just last, just actually last night I found one, but I haven't. I don't know how to sing that one. But anyway, it's Zeser be glocken nie klingen, and it's the bells have never rung more sweetly. Um, Süßer die Glocken nie klingen als zu der Weihnachtszeit, denn at Christmas time. It's as, es ist als ob Engelein singen, wieder von Frieden und Freude. It's as if the angels were singing of peace and joy. Wie sie gesungen in seliger Nacht, wie sie gesungen in seliger Nacht, as they sang in that holy night, Glocken mit heiligem Klang, klingt doch die Erde in Land. Bells with the holy sound ring throughout the whole earth. If you can hear those rings, bells ringing all around. The earth is big, but it goes. Okay. So if you would play it for us once and we'll sing in German. So it's kind of meaningful to, to know that even at his early age he wrote this most beautiful song. Um, it says, Sei uns mit Jubel Schale Christ Kindchen heut gegrüßt. Let us be blessed, little Christ child, as we shout for joy. Wir freuen, wie freuen wir uns alle, dass dein Geburtstag ist. We're all so happy that it's your birthday. I want to say here that in Japan, the custom is to have birthday cakes all over in the bakeries for Jesus' birthday. Not everybody knows they're buying for Jesus' birthday, but they all buy birthday cakes. <laughs> and it's celebrating Christmas with a birthday cake. Okay, then it says, Für uns zur Welt geboren, lagst du auf Heu und Stroh. You were born this, in this world for us, and you lay on hay and straw. Sonst wären wir verloren, nun aber sind wir froh. We would have been lost, but now we are very happy. So uh, this one I don't have in English, but let's sing it. Would you play it for us in uh, one time and we'll sing it in German.
verses is especially uh, meaningful. It says, Lass nur bei so vielen Gaben uns nie vergessen dein. With so many gifts around us, let us not forget your gift. Denn wie im Herzen haben, geht über goldenen Schein. Because to have you in our hearts is far more than gold. Im ganz, let's see, oh, lass bei allen Kleinen in ganzen Erden rund, so let your love shine to children around the world. Heut deine Liebe erscheinen, o oh, mach dich allen kund. Make yourself known to everyone. So, again, very meaningful work. Number 17 is still, still, still. Now, if you were to buy a CD of German Christmas carols, there's a still, still, still on there, but it's a different melody and they're different words. So this particular one comes from Wunder Lieder book right here. Um, but it's, uh, I, I like it very much. It's fun to sing, but it's also meaning, so meaningful. Um, it says, it, it's again very direct. It says, shh, quiet, quiet. The next one says, listen, 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 hor, hor. I can remember my parents saying, hor, mo, listen. <laughs> okay, then, ja, 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 wir haben uh, dich gar lieb. Yes, yes. And the last one, thank you, thank you, thank you, dun, 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 du liebes Christkindlein. So we'll, we'll only sing the first one, but I wanted to translate a little bit more for you. The first one, still, 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 die Augen aufgemacht, open your eyes. Es klingelt, oh, excuse me, wer will herein, who wants to come in? Das Christkindlein, the little Christ child. Es ist ja heute die heilige Nacht, es ist ja heute die heilige Nacht, tonight is the Christmas Eve. Then the next one says, listen, 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 somebody is knocking at the door. It's ringing very clearly, 